Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just surprised everyone with Big Ben that's never been done before and it's genius. One of President Trump's promises during his campaign was to look at trade agreements between the US and all other countries. He recently crushed China with huge tariffs on steel, saying that America has been taken advantage of when it comes to trade. His purpose in creating these massive tariffs has always been to renegotiate the deal. Something Trump has been famous for throughout his business deals in the private sector. This week the president has taken aim at another industry, and now these companies' stocks are tumbling. If you enjoy luxury brand vehicles, some might be very hard to buy in the near future. According to The Hill, Several U.S. and European diplomats told the news outlets that Trump told French President Emmanuel Macron about his plans last month during a state visit. Trump reportedly told Macron that he would maintain the ban until no Mercedes-Benz cars are seen on Fifth Avenue in New York. Shares of Daimler, Porsche and Volkswagen were lower on Thursday, shortly after the weekly German business magazine published the report. The Hill has reached out to the White House for comment. The report comes a week after Trump ordered Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross to investigate auto tariffs and probe whether car imports are a danger to national security. A similar national security argument was used when Trump placed steep tariffs on aluminum and steel imports in March. Trump and congressional Republicans are preparing to clash over the proposed tariffs, which could be as high as 25 percent. A number of German automakers have plants in the U.S., including Mercedes-Benz in Alabama and BMW in South Carolina. That isn't where the hits ended, today Trump levied huge tariffs on aluminum and steel to some of our closest allies, Canada Mexico and the EU. The Hill reports. The Trump administration will levy hefty steel and aluminum tariffs on the European Union, Canada and Mexico starting on Friday, a move that brought threats of retaliation from the major trading partners. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross said that President Trump had decided on Thursday morning to end the temporary exemptions for the three key trading allies despite their two months of lobbying to avoid the tariffs, raising tensions among the economic partners. We look forward to continued negotiations with Canada and Mexico on one hand and with the European Commission on the other hand as there are other issues we need to get resolved, Ross told reporters on a conference call. Mexico and the EU were swift in saying they would follow through on their promises to impose retaliatory tariffs on U.S. exports. In a statement, the EU referred to a 10-page list of possible targets they produced in March after Trump first announced the potential tariffs. The EU had vowed to levy tariffs of $3.3 billion on iconic American products such as Kentucky Bourbon, Jeans and Harley, Davidson Motorcycles. European leaders also said they would proceed with a complaint at the World Trade Organization. WTO. We did everything to avoid this outcome, said EU Commissioner for Trade Cecilia Malmstrom, who called it a bad day for world trade. This is protectionism, pure and simple, said Jean-Claude Juncker, president of the European Commission. Canada and Mexico have said the tariffs are unacceptable and that imports of steel and aluminum don't affect U.S. national security. They warned the tariffs could put the fate of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, at stake. While things look glum for trade, have no fear. Trump is a shrewd businessman. He is fearless in negotiation and will always get the deal he wants or there is no deal. I this case he knows a no deal would hurt other countries much worse than it would hurt America. Just like China, all of these countries will fall in line and it will mean huge business for American businesses and billions in savings. The president has always hated NAFTA, today another campaign promise was signed and we're another step closer to making America great again. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.